At 3.30, we've got Miami, who's 5-5, five five, John number 9, Clemson, who's 9-1, Clemson favored by 19 points on ESPN. Tyler Van Dyke for Miami, he's gone 156 at 245, thrown for 1,761 yards, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Henry Parrish Jr. has gone 120 at 569, thrown for 4 touchdowns. Will Mallory has had 20, uh, 9 carries for 393 yards and 2 touchdowns. Uh, DJU has gone 196 at 300, thrown for 2,179 yards, 19 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Will Shipley has had 154 carries on the ground for 899 yards and 12 touchdowns, and Antonio Williams has had 43 catches for 473 yards and 3 touchdowns. Miami and Clemson, weirdly enough, are tied 6-6 in the series. Last three games have gone to Clemson from 2015 to 2020. Last win and at Clemson was in 2014 for Miami. So I think what's going to be really interesting in this football game is obviously Clemson is still a playoff-eligible football team. They might not have the easiest path to the playoffs but they do have a path and honestly i don't think it's the hardest path in the world either like right like all you got to do is win down the stretch win the acc championship game against unc hope usc eventually drops a game and i think you're in um uh, maybe that's just me but i think michigan and ohio state one of them's going to get knocked down to one loss um even if Ohio State wins their championship, Georgia wins their championship, and TCU wins their championship, they're all undefeated. I think Clemson wins the argument. They made it there to their championship game, and they've won their championship game. While the ACC is the weakest conference, it's still a conference championship, something Tennessee and Michigan will both not have on their resumes. So Clemson, this is the path to the playoffs for them. They just have to win out and hope USC loses one. Isn't that insane to think? I mean, Clemson's path to the playoff isn't crazy. It's not an insane path, and most of these teams aren't outside of Tennessee and Michigan. Actually, Tennessee, in my opinion, just my personal opinion, they have the hardest path to the playoffs. Um, simply because you can't have a conference championship, and unlike Michigan or Ohio State, who controls their own fate um, and can win that game and go to the championship game, Tennessee's already been eliminated from the championship game. Because you're going to need a lot of help for Tennessee. We'll go over later on. But I think, uh, again, this is a big game for Miami, too. A playoff, a bowl game eligibility, to be fair. Better chance next weekend. Um, but Miami got a big win. They picked up a big win against Georgia Tech this weekend. But let's be honest, Georgia Tech, Clemson, not exactly the same level of competition. Clemson picked up a huge win against a Louisville team that was actually playing well heading into that game. And they've been They've looked good against ACC player uh, teams. We'll see if that continues here today. Uh, expect Clemson to win and cover at home against Miami.